Yo, what's up, Lazy English World? It's your boy, Philosco here. Today, we're going to learn some more Lazy English. Lazy as usual, because I'm Philosco, and I'm, I'm lazy when I speak my American English. Real lazy. And today, we are going to focus on the vanishing T8 sound. We all know the T8 sound. This. That. Laugh. Wait, no. Not laugh. So the vanishing T8 sound I'm going to work on today is a word that ends in ing and the next word that begins in TH. But not any TH word. Only these, this, that, those, and them. Only these five TH words, but any ING word that comes before it follows this speaking rule. Now what I will teach you right now, you never ever write, you only verbalize when you want to sound American. First example of these five TH words I'm going to give you is the word these. And this example is, Watching these becomes watching knees. You're not actually watching knees, but that's just how we pronounce it. Instead of saying watching these, we'd say watching these. I'm watching these kids because no one else is going to watch them today. Another example is with the word this. Instead of saying liking this, we would say I'm liking this. I hope you're liking this episode. This episode is very likable. And if you are liking this, we should be good friends. Having that becomes having that. Now in slang, when we say we ain't having that, that means we don't like it. That means that's something we don't do and we don't play those games. We ain't having that. So if you don't like my videos and you leave bad comments, I ain't having that and I'm gonna delete your comments. Unless it's constructive criticism, then I understand. Next example is for the word those. Cooking those. But we wouldn't say cooking those, we'd say cooking those. No, we're not cooking noses, but it just sounds like that. For example, I just came back from the store and I bought a lot of frozen chicken. And I will be cooking those tonight. Oh yeah, I love chicken, so I will cook those. And last example of the five is them. And we're going to say shaking them. If you like playing football, when you're doing your football stuff, and you move past them, you're shaking them because they're doing this and they can't keep up with you because you are too fast with the football. Shaking them. Remember that one. I know a lot of you love football and you can say, once you pass them, yeah, I'm shaking them to the crowd and you'll be famous. They'll be like, ah, ah, he's so good, ah. And that's the five for today. And as a quick example, I wanna know how many of you lazy people are good at saying tongue twisters. Yes, tongue twisters. Here's a short tongue twister that I want you to say five times fast. Red, lorry, yellow, lorry. Can you say that five times fast? I can. Here we go. Red, lorry, yellow, lorry. 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 Red, lorry, yellow, blah, blah, blah. So that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash Velasco, that's me, and subscribe to my YouTube page to see all my videos. And be sure to check out Lazy English's new Facebook page. Like them if you like me. And if you can say red lorry, yellow lorry many times fast, please do it. Make a YouTube video, and I'll make you popular if I like your video. So, that's basically it. Later. God damn it.